everyone. We're back at the World Series of Poker on the first day of the $10,000 Six Max event. It's a tournament that's living up to its prestigious reputation with a very strong table before our eyes. It features Sweden's Victor Blom, better known to you as Isildur, Britain's Jamie O'Connor and Joa Oviera, our hero of the day. So far, things are going rather well for the Portuguese number one, who is committed to a lot of winning hands in the first two hours of play. He now has 110,000 chips with blinds at 200-400. Come on, Joao, let's keep up the attack. Okay, snap call. Thank you. Okay, queen six. I think it's weak. I think I'm just gonna raise it up. Call really fast. 14. Really fast again. Okay. Well, the second one doesn't mean much. Not the best board. Do have some back doors. He's gonna have a lot of weak stuff as well. This is blind on blind. I'm gonna have, I have a backdoor straight draw, one over card. I block some of the draws that continues. I'm gonna fire. See what he does. Another snap call. I don't think he's strong at all. Okay. Now I win some stuff. I win 6 7. I win against 10 6. 4x. Some draws. Let's try to take this to showdown. This is a bad card. Now I win. Exactly 6-5 and some 4s that don't have 2 pairs or straight. What does he have? 7-5. Yeah, he was weak. He was yeah, okay. I'm confident he had on the other hand with the ace-queen. It looked like the same read. Yeah. I like his check. Yeah, he played well. Felt a bit, a bit weaker. Even good players, when they are tired, they're gonna let some information go. If you look close enough, or you're experienced enough, especially when they're tired and beginning of the tournament, nobody's really too focused. I think that's the case. We've all been playing here for 50 some days. The desert gets a toll on your body. Vegas is great, but at the end of it, it feels like a truck just ran over you. Okay, here we go again. 10-8. Fourteen. Fourteen. Hmm. There's a chance this gentleman is starting to get tired of me. I have to proceed with cautious. If you have a good hand, I think I'm gonna check sometimes. Because he always bets and then I could raise. Okay, I have a gutter. Two, two over cards. I think I need to see bet. I'm gonna try to make him fold some ace high, some big cards. If we didn't connect with this board. And he's gonna have a lot of weak holdings like Queen 5 that I can just bluff him on the turn. Okay. Let's go with the plan. Third heart. He's gonna have some hearts. Not the best, but anyway, not bad. I'm gonna try to make him fold some draws, some weak pairs, some ace 3, king 3, 10 4 of diamonds, that stuff. I'm gonna go two thirds and maybe bluff on the on the last heart. Bet first and see what's up. Let's put the pressure. Okay, probably had a draw. Yeah, so far so good.
Eight four suited. I like usually to three bet this hand. Plays very well this deep. Yeah. Okay. So what, what is this? Okay, this could be like tens, nines, ace king, ace queen. Okay. This is a strong range, you have to be careful. And also it could be tired of folding to me and just next time you're just not gonna fold. So good time to make a good hand. Doesn't look like a good hand. No back door. What its range is like sevens, eights, nines, tens, jack, sometimes this queen. He's not folding much, I'm out of position. I'm just gonna go just gonna wave the white flag. Maybe if he checks, I'm gonna try to steal on some turns, but it's time to slow down. See what he does. The thing is that he always bets, he's gonna bet sevens, eights, nines. It's a great spot to have a good hand. Gentleman is gonna bet, I could just raise. Six, I could have made it 12 or 13, and then I would have won a big pot, but I don't have two aces, I have ace four. <laughs> no. It would be good to have a good hand, but uh, I think the theater is set up to stack them if I have the chance. But mm, I need to make a good hand now. Otherwise, I'm going to proceed with caution. Seven off. Let's go. Let's see a flop. They're very deep, so I have to play a little bit more cautiously than usual. Out of position. That's a good flop. Okay, out of C bet, probably. My hand is not strong enough to check raise in triple barrel. The board is gonna change, we are really deep. I think I'm just gonna check call. Can also protect my check calling range. I'm gonna have some A side, some gutter, some queen X. And just use this hand as a bluff catch. If he decides to go crazy, I can just call three times. I like that four. I like that check. Okay, we're good. This is not the best card. Still have the best hand. Pretty much 100%, but a card that people don't bluff as much. Maybe it's not gonna call. I think I have to go big. I have to polarize myself between 10 or better, or a draw, and hope that he bluffs catch with a good bluff catcher. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pot. Okay. It didn't much. All this thinking and he just snaps off. Mike playing Vizildur. Have some history, we battle for some rankings back in the days. I don't like to be out of position, but very interesting proposition to be on a six max with a bunch of good pros. I wish they would use these automatic shuffles. Every table has one and the dealer still hand shuffles all the time. For the hearts, try to see a flop. Okay. Check, check. Call check. Obliged. Healer looks inexperienced, but you know, she's doing her best. 
Not the best flop. I do have some backdoor equity. Run and run a straight. Run and run a flush. Let's bet and see what's up. He's also going to have a lot of really weak hands that I can make him fold. It's not a call. It's a bet. Oh my god. Dealer doesn't really understand much of this. Have to be focused with the change and all that. I have a gut shot now with the three. Three would give me a straight. But this connects a lot with his hand. And yeah, no. He's just not folding much to me. I don't have enough equity. So, pot is small. Oh, okay. Again, I wish I could have like a good hand because he's. Gentleman is betting all nines, I believe, all not sixes, all queens, and I could just check raise and he wouldn't believe me. Yeah, but I don't have nothing now, and he wouldn't believe me. So I think I just gotta let it go. This would be very expensive. I could, I could check raise and then just fire blank on the river, but god damn it, this would be a little expensive. My hand is really bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. All right. Can't win when you fold. Can't win when you fold. Seven five have a heart. I hand to see a flop. I like to see this. Flops in position. They play well. They hit a range and people are not expected to. This is nice. Okay. Dollar bill is coming or what? Okay. Use a dollar bill as a car protection. Got some backdoors again. Backdoor hearts, backdoor straight draw. It's gonna be an interesting hand to give a stab and probably just fire when I improve to a draw. Easy to already check, you're probably weaker. I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's a little didn't have anything. That's what it looked like. Well, you could have jack nine, queen nine, queen jack, some eight sevens. I don't block none of that. Ace queen, ace jack. It's a really good card. Because now I have a heart draw. And I don't block the the draws that are going to fold automatically. Also, the, the I don't think the 10 is folding now. But I think all the draws will. And I still have good cards to bluff. And I can also improve. Let's fire this and see what's up. Probably I will have to shut down rivers. Because I don't think he's ready to fold to me a king or a ten. It's a good time to make a flush. Deuce of hearts. Doesn't look like the deuce of hearts. Seven. No, I have a pair. Check. Uh, he's not folding a king. Unlikely that he folds a ten. Maybe fold some tens. And then maybe I can win queen jack, ace jack hearts, jack nine hearts, queen nine hearts. I can win some hands. Check. Let's see. Check. Nope. I cannot win king ten. Yeah, I definitely wasn't going anywhere. And it was a really good time to make a flush. Okay, we'll keep trying. It wasn't too expensive. Whatever, how much did I look like? 5k? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Okay, 9-8 suited. 
Another hand I want to play. I think I'm going to call. Three bet would also be fine. But I've been playing a lot of a lot of hands. People are not in the mood of folding. So I think I'm just going to take a flop. We're very deep. This hand plays well. And then if his older comes and the board... I hit the board, maybe he bluffs. I'm going to board coverage nicely. I don't think I'm going to get squeezed from the players on my left. So... Like, how much you play roughly? Uh, 90. 90? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A little over 200 blinds deep. That's a good hand to play. Let's try to play in position, use post flop skills, try to put some pressure. That's not my board. Why, why is he betting? What is this? 25%. This is weird. This is not a board that 25% should be happening too much. Hmm. What does that mean? You have like a hand that he's trying to protect, like five sixes or some back doors. He either has a really good hand or he's just bluffing. He shouldn't be bluffing, betting like a seven here. Oh, what, what, what can I do about it? Can't flo I don't think floating is that good. I can, I can raise, maybe. Rep four threes, ace queen, ace four suited. And just put the pressure on the back doors. Right? He either has like really good, like ace queen plus, or he's just bluffing. Like, I'm just gonna raise. It's cheap. Let's see what's up. 26. Raise 26. Let's, let's put the street hoodie on. Well, that didn't work. Well, uh, fuck. I think it's white flag unless I get something really good, like a five of spades or something. Deuces fives, you can have those. I could have those too. Six seven. Yeah, but when he bets flop, either he has really strong ace or better, or he was bluffing. And when he calls the raise, he either he has really strong ace or better. So I think this is just a give up. This is just a pure give up. Yeah, I already. I already put maybe a little too ex too many chips in the pot. Well, that's a pair. <laughs> I don't think that's good for anything, but that's a pair. Can I win 5-7 maybe? That's wishful thinking, right? Yeah, that's wishful thinking. I don't think I can beat anything. I don't think I can bluff. So, show me. Jax. What do you mean Jax? Yeah, Jax shouldn't be playing like this. Definitely, Jax should not be playing like this. So, yeah. I'm going to be flatting a lot in position and punishing this. His strategy out of position is not that sharp. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I think the plan is, is to flat and just attack. Attack this small C bats because he will be putting himself in a lot of really bad spots. Six five off. What is that? It's only five off. Oh, that's the end. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna raise. This is a bit wild, but I'm not getting three bet enough. I want to see some hands. I want to see some Eleven. some flops. Six five is definitely an over raise, but I think it's fine. I'm not getting three bet on my left <laughs> at all. What is he looking? Oh, okay. He's looking at the World Series main event stream. I was wondering why he was looking at the at the screen in the middle of the hand. It's the coverage of the main event. That's an okay flop. Flop a pair. Queen Jack, Jack ten, Ace nine. All those hands missed. I'm gonna see bet. I'm gonna see bet a lot. See what's up. Define the range. Okay, just take it down. 
Yeah, my, my, my left side is not giving me a lot of prob problems, so I'm gonna be raising quite a bit. Try to steal some pots, try to create some action, try to create some dynamics, and use my skills to grind these little pots. Rally is done. I don't give you a chip. Yeah, they used to give you chip. King seven off. They used to give you chips. Tokens. Oh, got it. Got it. Not a defend. Keep getting these middling weak hands. They're really hard to play out of position. Oh, that's an interesting board. I already led on 753 versus him before. I use this lead strategy that some people don't know. This is definitely a good candidate to lead. I think I'm gonna lead. They're really deep, he can't do much about it, but pretty much color or fold. I have a lot of turns to put the pressure on. And I think I'm gonna confuse them. He called. Get heavy size, back doors, draws. This is an interesting, interesting card. I have the king and the seven of diamonds. I think this is a really good hand to bluff. I block all the draws. I unblock the weaker part of his range, like ace nine off or king queen random. Six sevens, I do have ace four, ace this, yeah. I think I'm just gonna overbet and represent the three. They're really deep. I think the three wants to overbet. Do I go 200%, 150? I think I'm gonna go 150. Yeah, it has to be a big sizing and represent the three and three only. I think I'm gonna go like 130%. This should clear the room. A size, weaker stuff. Should continually continue only with pairs, good draws, ace four. Ace deuce maybe continues. Maybe ace king pulls one more, but I block that or ace queen. He does not look comfortable, so this is good. Okay, call. I can bluff hearts, diamonds, and clubs. Okay, diamonds. Diamonds good. Seven is not the best blocker, but. All the natural bluffs get there. Okay, 6-4 four and 4-deuce four is just a pair, but hey, I can just check. So 6-7 gets there. Diamonds get there. Not a lot of stuff to break. That's why it's yeah, it's good to have this hand right now. Because it doesn't look like many bluffs are in my range. So this is just a very, very good bluff. And I bluff block some, some diamonds. Even though it's a little diamond, I think it's fine. King of clubs is not nice. I, I do not like to have the king of clubs, but hey, can have everything. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like two thirds. This is clearly a bluff. I don't know if I over, but I think I'm gonna go two thirds and still represent the three and some flush and some straights. I don't wanna polarize myself to the flesh only because I'm gonna have a little of that. Okay. This should get the job done if he's has a weak holding. This is interesting because I'm it's a, s a spot not a lot of people use this line as a raising. Yeah, that's okay. Party's over. Party poop. Okay, got it. I guess he had it. 
They could bluff too. Ace five, ace four with ace of diamonds. It's possible ace queen, ace of diamonds. But anyways, yeah, that hand is better than mine. So. That's a shame. Uh, I like these lines. Lines good. I know how to play these lines. Not a lot of people do. Can I get a hand? Nope. One hand, please. No. <laughs> okay, ace eight hearts. Thirteen. Here comes my old friend. Okay, middle pair. <coughs> Backdoor hearts, that's a good hand. Do I go small or medium size? Check is an option too. I think I'm gonna bet. Okay, I'm gonna start with, with half pot. a board that changes a lot of the dynamics on the turn and I want to go a bit bigger not the best card I'm still have a little my hand is still good a lot here seven six five got there eight seven it doesn't complete the uh, there he is Jack 10, Jack 9, 10, 9, don't get there. I have a really good bluff catch. Now I gotta hope that he checks and I win an 8, a 7 or a 4. Doesn't have many air ball in his range. That's a big sizing. Is that an overbet? That's an overbet. Hmm. Okay. Two pairs. A lot of two pairs, two straight, six, five, ten, nine is gonna have all that. Uh, what can I beat? I can beat all the fours. Four, five, four, four, six, king, four, that kind of stuff. And I can beat some back doors, kind of ace, ten, kind of hands, ace, ten of spades, if ten of diamonds, ace, nine of diamonds, king, ten of hearts. Spades, diamonds, king nine of hearts, spades, diamonds. I can beat some stuff, but my bluff catch is not the best. I do not block any of the bluffs. But I don't block a lot of value either. So. Can I get a read off of him? This time I can't. Let me see. He has a lot of value, so this one is gonna be a hard one. Probably is a fold. I will probably need a good, strong live read to call here. He's not giving me much. And there's a chance I read them wrong on the other times too, you know. I didn't see show them, so I think I'm just gonna let it go. 5-4, five, 5-6. Four three, it's four a block, that sucks. Not turning a seven, probably deuces today. It's probably folds that flop. I made a big size. It probably folds some of the back doors on the flop too, right? It doesn't continue every time with like Ace Nine, King Ten, King Nine back doors. And some of those have a jack, so it doesn't need to bluff. Does it continue with ace five, ace six back doors? I don't yeah, I made a, if I made a small size, maybe I made a big size on the flop, so it probably folds some of those. Uh, can I get a read? Are you gonna give me something? Looks like confident. 
sad. I don't know. Somehow I feel like calling, but uh, I don't think I can. Does he check rate? I, he probably slow plays flop too. Good hand, so I think I have to fold. He probably doesn't check race king eight and f fours. Sorry, guys. It's tough. He has, a, just has too many values. Will he overbet the value? I think so. That's what confused me. He might not overbet the value. I look weak and he's bombing, so. But he knows that too. He's been around. It's not his first. Not his first. Rodeo. It looks like a sizing that will make me fold this type of hand, so that's. But anyway. Okay. Nice hand, mate. Nice hand. Can I get 500 splits? Sure. Let's take a break. Still a good start, not the best level, but still a good start. Interesting hands, they didn't go my way, but... I think I weathered the storm, made a good bluff. I think I made a good bluff. I think he's either had it or... Or bluffed me, anyway. Let's see. We're at something to eat. And oh, what a legend. Even the brakes, they follow you around. Say again? Even the brakes, huh? Yeah, just to get the shot of me leaving the room. Huh? <laughs> Now you're in the show, Jenny Vax. One and on. See you, buddy. I had a big one against... Huh? Against Isildur. You lost big one against Isildur? Mm-hmm. Not... You yeah. You him, right? Yeah. yeah. No. A super tag. Yeah, 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 yeah. A really good tag, but he's... Yeah. Tag, yeah, yeah. But the, he won a few hands, he put his feet on the car, like, he's now he's feeling it, you know, I feel that he's feeling it, so... I think he can get out of the way. I mean, it was a weird spot, of course, but, things, but, uh, yeah. but it was a very weird spot. It's always very weird because it's a it's a five three three die two die, two two flush draw. It's a BB versus button, and I play with a lot of leads. But most people have never seen this because nobody reads leads five three three with very deep. So I never know what how they're gonna react. They usually they just react bad. They overfold and they just raise when they have it because they think it's or just just raise bluff a lot and you can just three bet a lot of shit you can do. Be cool. Uh, I mean, it's not an easy one to play, especially deep. And uh, so I let the I let that board turn this ten opens flush draw. I overbet. He calls uh, and I felt it was not very comfortable. But river is four diamonds. Huh? Felt? I felt a little bit, but maybe pe people just buy. I'll tell you the hand later because I have to go to to eat something. Ciao, bro. Get back to the action. I don't have the best image. Playing a lot of hands on my active, but I think my presence is being felt. If I can maneuver, I think I have some good spots to to create some big pots. I think I know where to where to put pressure, where not to put pressure. Stack went down a little bit, but still pretty good. I saw it, I saw it. I was okay. low, like a four yeah. or something. Yeah. Good one? Sorry. Six to flop, because I four. Uh, Needed that. It's on me? Yes, sir. All right. Ace two suited. Definitely going to play this one. Where is it at? That's us. We're still over 100 bigs deep. I have a lot of chips. 
See? Pots have been so big. Then. I actually might need those. I don't. I don't <laughs> Car dead. I have the stack to to wait for it. That's why I love this six max torment. It's great. You're always in the action. Six, six. A six of diamonds. I'm gonna flat. I'm gonna keep playing in position. These guys on my left are not squeezing. I don't need to create a a big pot. Looks like we have a block party here. Four of us. Okay, pot is 6k, I, like, I have like 60k. Oh, fairly deep. That's an interesting flop. Not flush draw. Hazelder yeah, looks uninterested about the hand. I think I'm gonna bet small. Usually when I don't like to bet this hand too often because big blind might go crazy and represent the seven, but I'm gonna have some sevens too. I think I'm just gonna get bet, bet small, fold some ace hides, maybe win the hand right here, put some pressure on fours, threes, fives, and then if I hit my diamonds, it's, it's money. Yeah, so I'm gonna go small, see what's up. Okay. <laughs> Call is fine. Raise would be bad. The big blind is the one. That, okay, we're good. And I think Azildur doesn't have anything, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, could have the king. Maybe he has a seven. Or he can have diamonds. Heads up. I think that's mostly his range. Mm, this doesn't help me too much. I'm still behind the king. The seven will never fold, neither the king. Diamond's always already ahead, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, I guess I get an extra two outs to hit a full house with a six. That's that's okay. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. I think I'm gonna lose to a king, but maybe he has diamonds and I win. Who knows? What do you have? Five. Okay. I guess the six was better. Better than I thought. Yeah, fives was a really loose call with two players behind. <laughs> That's really loose. That really reinforced my idea that this gentleman is not on the folding mood versus me. Gotta proceed with cautious. Let's see. Queen do suited. Can easily defend. See a flop. I expect them to be quite aggressive with multiple sizes. German style. They all play very structured, well played poker. So, A game time.
Hmm. On this monotone, I have bottom pair, but I don't think I can continue as a call. My hand is too weak to call. The question is, do I fold? Or do I... I can call, I guess, but... I guess I can call. I think it works better as a raise. If it doesn't have a good... Uh, heart, like jack of hearts, queen of hearts, I think it's just gonna fold and I can clean some out. I can fold. Maybe make him fold threes, four, fives, six X. I think I'm just gonna use it as a bluff. It's gonna be a one-time bluff. Yeah, I'm gonna check raise, make him fold some stuff and... You know, I still have backup plan to hit two pairs or trips. It's also a small chance. Yeah, he has some kind of ace high with hearts that you go check check and I win. So that's uh, okay. I wonder if. Hmm, gotta study this spot. I'm not exactly sure if call is an option. Okay, he calls, so it probably has 9x. Or better, good heart draws, and maybe seven, six, seven, eight with heart. This is a pretty decent card after he calls. Because now it makes it less likely that he has the nine. And I'm I'm ahead of the ace high draws, queen high, king high draws. Like king jack of hearts with one heart. A stand with one heart. That type of hand. Also drawing dead against the 9 now. Which I wasn't on the flop. That sucks. Let's see what it does. If it checks, there's a good chance of the best hand. Can I get a check? Okay, I can get a check. This is good. Um, I think I'm confident to have the best hand a lot. And that confident goes out the window with an ace. Now we have trouble. Now I'm only ahead of king, queen, king, jack, king, ten with one heart. That's the only thing I can beat. And he might bluff some of those. Queen, jack with one heart, he might bluff. He could check back king, queen, king, jack because he will have some showdown value against my bluffs and I will ch check all if I have an ace or check raise some, some stuff. I can win sometimes. Two pair. He had ace, ten with ace of hearts. Okay, he had a really good hand. I was not too bad on the turn, but I was in pretty bad shape on the flop. He decided to check back, which I like. I like his check back. I'm gonna have some traps, and he's, he's not gonna get called very often unless I have some ace five with some hearts. That's a good play. Maybe I didn't want to see your river. Hmm? Yeah, every year. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's the players. I think it's when you know exactly know what you're supposed to do. The range of possibilities is so huge, yeah, yeah. and you're so tired yeah. that you'll see all these fucking. Four, one, four, three, clock. For sure, it's tough. I think half a good part of it is like who handled it better. Yeah. After you get the final table or last two tables, it's, it was more relaxed. Bring it up. Running better should help, I guess. Ten knight of spades. 14. I can play this as a call or as a three bet. I like to three bet these hands when I'm deep. Because I can board coverage a little bit. I can deny some hands that. That uh, dominate me. So. Let's play a big pot. Doesn't look like he'd like to. Yeah. He's a little cold, but he didn't look like he, he liked my sizing. I made a big sizing. Very dry board. 
I do have some back doors. Yeah, I think it's not gonna auto fold. Some broadways without back doors. I'm gonna start by small. I have small bet, but most of, if not all, my range. And then if I pick up equity, I'll keep going. I can represent this ace x board really good. Ace king, ace queen, ace x suited. Oh, this is it's okay. I think I'm gonna make it. Small too bad. And see it from there. Body language change a little bit. Okay, this is a really, really, really good card. It's the best card in the deck for me. I have a gut shot in the flush draw. This is barrel time. Put the pressure on those little pairs, deuces, threes, fours, six sacks. Put the pressure on sevens. Maybe some backdoor hearts that he had, king, queen of hearts, that kind of stuff. He's leaning forward again, so he could have something. But it, we're also playing a big pot, so he's probably just naturally leaning forward, and I'm gonna, not gonna take that into advantage, into consideration. Too much. I'm gonna get three quarters. How much is three quarters? The pot is 22k. Could have a sex of spades. Oh, oh whatever. <laughs> if he doesn't have an ace, this should get the job done. If he has an ace, I have a lot of ops. Fairly quick call. Isildur has a nice. He didn't like it. The sizing pre-flop, he called two really fast. He's probably have the weaker aces. That's the most likely hands that he has. Some of them are two pair. Hmm, this is a very interesting card. Because I make a pair, but I don't I think it's good for nothing to be honest. I, I don't see how he calls twice and I my head. Maybe five, four spades. Very few complex. King Queen of Spades, maybe, but most likely this is this ten is good for nothing. But I do block ace 10, which is the most likely ace that he can have. I think the, the big part of his range is between ace deuce and ace 10. Because the, those are the weaker aces that don't feel comfortable calling pre. I don't think he has ace queen. Ace jack is also unlikely. Eight, he also calls very comfortably pre. So I don't think he has that either. Not very often, at least with my read. Uh... He's gonna have his deuce, his three, his four, his five, his six, his seven, his nine, and his ten. His ten is the only version that he's gonna have half suit, and I block that, so that's good. I think I have a good hand to bluff. There's way more ace x that are not to pair compared to the ones that are two pair. I think 70-80% of his range is just one pair, and that's a weak ace. <sighs> can he fold a weak ace? I think he probably can. On a normal situation, I think he will. I'm just worried that my image is a little too aggressive, too unconventional. And I'm worried that the table has been playing a little too crazy and he falls for the dynamic and he calls a bit more often. Also, Isildur has been confident, he's playing a lot of hands and he's been winning hands. He's a guy that probably goes with the flow. So I don't know, my image is not the best, my combo is good. And I think it's going to be very hard for him to find a bluff. There's not a lot of bluffs on my range. At all. Most of my pre-flop bluffs, they, they have an ace. And most of the other bluffs, they do not bet the eight. So I got to have something like this. I'm 10-9. I think I got to bluff this one. I don't, I'm not confident he's going to fold a lot all the time. But it, he's going to have to make a really, really tough call. And my odds are good. I blocked the 10. And it's going to be very hard for him to bluff. I think I'm going to go for it. Not the best dynamic, but fuck it. It's going to be very hard for him to call. Most of his hands, most of his range will have a hard time calling. If he calls me, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let's go. Okay, I fade the snap. 
<laughs> Fade is not as good, so it's not a six, it's not a deuce, it's not a eight, it's not six six or deuces. So I was right. He has a weak ace. Okay, first part is done. Now he needs to fold one of those. Can he fold it? Can he fold the weak ace? If I was playing a bit more ABC, or if you didn't know who I was, I think I'm gonna I, I get him to fold those hands a lot, really, because there's not a lot of bluffs here. The part of the image and the other guy that I played in the beginning of the day, that one is not leaving me that comfortable, because the table was crazy for so long, and now I have to make him fold an A, so that one doesn't leave me very comfortable. Oh, I forgot to put the small chips in. Well, that doesn't matter, I guess. That's like what? One BB? Two BB? Yeah. That's fine. I don't know. Let's see. I think only spades missed. Maybe as a sack, with spade, it probably folds that snap. The only bluffs, natural bluffs, could be like 4 5. So, waste 4 is 5, maybe folds a bit more. There's not a lot of bluffs at all. And that could be valued by easily a king and probably a queen too, or better. So, okay, he's suffering. Okay, job is done. Job is done. I think it's a very profitable bluff. Will it work? Come on, Victor. The thing that I don't really like is my lead. I play two or three unorthodox hands. I don't like that. Could make me more suspicious. Oh, well, anyway, that's okay. He has what I think, thought he had, which is the weak ace, and it's gonna be very hard for him to call. Only needs to work like four or five percent of the time, something like that. So, hmm. I suspect this could be a long one. Uh, what does he have? Ace nine. Well, he had what he thought what he had. He had what we thought he had. That's the best ace I think he's gonna have. So, uh, nice hand, buddy. That's okay. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. This is what I expect. I expect him to. Suffer a lot, sometimes call, sometimes fold. The dynamic was not the best, but I think my hand was really good. The dynamic was not the best. These type of players, confident players, good players, when they are feeling good, they they call a bit more often. I felt it was a good spot. Well, it's Jack. Let's see. How, many, how much do I have? Three BBs. Maybe I can do a miracle. Maybe I can do a miracle. All right. Okay, Mr. Cheetos calls here. I wonder if I can get his Cheetos if he busts me. What does he have? King Queen? King Queen and some Cheetos. Let's see, I'm ahead. Not anymore. Still, still okay. Ace or Quinn to give me some hope. That was the five. All right. Fair play. Okay. This was a fun one. What a good tournament. Oh, God. If you just fold or if I can just hit. Luck, guys. Uh, I wonder if I should have... I like my bluff. I think it's good. I think when you can put the opponents on weaker parts of their range and you can put the pressure and for them to call, they have to suffer a lot. I think you always win. Yeah, I know. I know. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not a good day to try to bluff people off of the hands. No, I tried a few times. They're not into them. They're not building at the end of the series. So, I mean, my table was crazy, so it's fine, but pretty, you know, pretty bad 
buff catcher on the spot, but it's really hard for me to have every bluff, but I will, so I'm gonna say. All right, this is it. GG, man. See you, man. Gotta go. You want this one? Yeah. Right. I don't have any of them. But right. Sure. Yeah. All right, see you. See you. All right. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Fair play to him. Nice hand, Daisy. Sure, we'll meet again. He made a really tough call and great tournament, great, have a lot of action. I think I, I performed well. And on to the next one. We'll certainly be back. Well, wife's calling. See you. It doesn't matter, Joao, because as you rightly pointed out, it was a really fun game we experienced together, even if it did end a little too quickly. After your elimination, your Team Winamax teammates quickly suffered the same fate in this $10,000 Six Max event. So we'll have to wait until the next edition of the World Series to repeat your past exploits in this event, which has been so successful for you. The good news is that we're not quite finished with this edition yet. We look forward to seeing you very soon for one last event live from Las Vegas in the next episode of Inside the Mind of a Pro.